Amongst the areas that we want to focus on in the culture and heritage sector are museums. Uh, museums, good museums, don't just provide exhibits for people to go round and look at. They tell a story. They create an experience. And we're very lucky in this area in Northamptonshire, not far from Milton Keynes, that we've got some great museums on our doorstep. And these include the Milton Keynes Museum, which provides a rich set of experiences about history from Victorian times and expanding now uh, to go back even further. And as a museum, it focuses on creating physical and emotional experiences, such as being able to sit in a wartime Anderson shelter and listen to the sounds of air raid sirens and bombs falling so that you can understand what it was like for people in the Second World War. Or being able to go down a Victorian street and visit a sweet shop and buy sweets, go into a Victorian kitchen and be able to toast bread on a fire. So this museum is not just about static exhibits that you can go and look round and admire, it's about using some of these old technologies, experiencing some of these old places for yourselves and they're supported by some wonderful uh, staff who've got a rich vein of experience and enthusiasm and passion that they want to share with you. So when we work with museums like the Milton Keynes Museum, we're not trying to create a substitute for the physical experience of going around the museum. In fact, it's just the opposite. We believe that by sharing the experience in a rich, immersive way using the latest technologies, people will want to come and visit the museum for themselves and they will have an idea of the things that they want to do and the things they want to see. The same is true of the National Museum of Computing, which has some fantastic exhibits. It's got the Colossus, the rebuilt Colossus computer that helped the code breakers in the war. And this machine still works. And so you can hear the sounds of the machines, you can see it in operation, and you can even take part in some exercises that challenge uh, the machine. In the museum they also have the Witch Computer, which is the oldest working digital computer in the world. And you have to go and see it. You have to go and witness these experiences for themselves. And all we try to do is to create a virtual version of these experiences that makes you want to go and visit in, port, in person. And the same is true of Bletchley Park, where the National Museum of Computing is based. Bletchley Park was the home of the wartime code breakers and so it's got a tremendous range of exhibits in the actual place where people worked during the war to break the codes and help Britain to gain competitive advantage in the wartime scenario. So in all of the areas and themes that we want to work our aim is to tell stories our aim is to help people to use the technologies to tell their stories. And our aim is by creating awareness and giving a virtual sense of experiences, we will encourage people to want to experience the people, the places and the experiences for themselves. Thank you for visiting our website.